Hi, welcome once again to another new video. This is Santu Sahu, and you are watching Sahu's tutorial. I hope that all of you are fine by the grace of Almighty. Here I am again with a mock test for the upcoming MA set uh, Assam slate with another set of 50 important MCQ questions. So, here is your first question on your screen. But before starting the session, I would like to request all of you please do subscribe my channel Sahu's tutorial and step, tap the bell icon to get more notification. So here is your first question on your screen. The first question is that Arundhati Roy, the famous Booker uh, winning prize novel that is the God of Small Things series its title from which of the following writers. Your options are John Berger, Thomas Mann, Peter Carey, Helen Garner. So Arundhati Roy, the God of, God of Small Things series is titled from uh, the right option is here John Berger and the epigraph also has been taken from uh, taken from okay, John Berger's work here the epigraph the of the god of uh, small things a line from john burger that is never again will a single story be told as though it is the only one okay moving ahead to the next question the world the word uh, cyberpunk was coined by fifth writer samuel r delani william gibson neil stephenson bruce wetke so the word uh, cyberpunk was coined by uh, the author called bruce wetke yeah. Bruce Wetke, so D is the right, right option here, okay. Mm. And the name of the work was also same in the, in the, in the work Cyberpunk. Name of the work where he has coined the term Cyberpunk was also Cyberpunk. So, with the same title. Nova is also considered one of the major forerunners of the Cyberpunk movement. So, who wrote this novel? So, who wrote the novel called Nova? Your options are Samuel R. Delany, William Gibson, Neil Stephenson, Bruce Fetke. Actually, these these four words were prominent uh, figure in the uh, in, in, in cyberpunk movement here. So here, Nova is a novel written by Samuel R. Delany. So here, A is the right option. A is the right option. Moving ahead to the next question, the influential debut novel that is called Neuromancer. Helped, so helped to solidify cyberpunk as a genre, drawing influences from punk culture and early hacker culture. Who wrote this novel? So, who is the author of the novel, the debut novel called Neuromancer? The options are Samuel R. Delany, no, William Gibson, Neil Stephenson, Bruce Wetke. So, it is William Gibson. William Gibson has written the written his debut novel, Neuromancer. So, here Neuromancer is the right. Neuromancer's author is William Gibson. And Samuel R. Delany is famously known for Nova. Nova. And, and, and Cyberpunk, watch the word Cyberpunk was coined by Bruce Wetke. Okay. Okay. Moving ahead to the next question. Uh, for which novel Rohinton Mystery won the Commonwealth Writers Prize? For which novel the Rohinton Mystery won the Commonwealth Writers Prize? Your options are so the long journey, a fine balance, a family uh, family members. So Rohinton Mystery has written three novels. One is such a long journey, another is a fine balance, and the last one is Family Matters. Such a long journey was published in the year 1991, whereas and fine balance was published in the year 1990. Five and such a long journey, and for this work, okay, he got the he won the won the common letters right. So here, such a long journey, it is 1991, and this novel actually was withdrawn from the University of Mumbai when the grandson of the politician uh, Bal Thakre, that is Adit Thakre, had raised a complaint. So for that reason, for that reason, okay, here uh, the, the, the the from the from the slavers of University of Mumbai. This novel was withdrawn, so such a long journey. Now, fine balance it was published in the year 1995. Uh, its setting is the emergency period in India. Okay, moving ahead to the next question. Ola Rotim is a novel that is the gods are not to be blamed. It's an adaptation of which Greek tragedy? It's a tragedy, sorry, play. So, here Ola Rotim is the gods uh, are not to be blamed. Is an adaptation of which Greek tragedy? Your options is Antigone, Media, Oedipus Rex, Prometheus Bound. So, all our team is the gods are not to be blamed. Is an adaptation of which Greek tragedy? The right option is here Oedipus Rex. C is the right option. Moving ahead to the next question. Oh, not sorry, not there is the explanation here. Uh, the gods are not to be blamed. It is a 1968 play by Ola Artemis and its adaptations of the Greek. It is an adaptation of the Greek classic called Oedipus Rex. The story centers on Odwell, uh, Odwell, who is lured into a false sense of security only to somehow get caught 
of in a somewhat uh, consanguous trail of events by the gods of the land. The novel is set in an indeterminate period of Iroba kingdom. So here yeah, the gods are not to be blamed. It's an adaptation of the Greek classic Oedipus Rex written by here Ola Rotimi. A novel uh, by Salman Rushdie published in 1999 and it is a variation on the Orpheus or Eurydice myth with rock music replacing Orpheus lyre and the myth works as a writ, a threat for which the author sometimes strays but to which he attaches an endless series of references name the novel Midnight Children no Satanic Verses no the ground beneath her feet or the moose last slide so to watch um, the ground beneath her feet it is a variation on the or fuse or the Eurydice myth with rock music replacing or fuse lyre so the right option is see here the ground beneath her feet by Salman Rushdie next question dance of Unix is a poem by the confessional poet Kamala Dash Sarojini Naidu Arundhati Subramaniam Tarudat so, Dance of Eunuchs is a poem by the confessional Indian, uh, the Indian confessional poet, it's Kamala Das, written by Kamala Das here. Next question, she published two novels, one is Danger, uh, Danger Lock, one is Danger Lock, another is Dave and Simran, who is she, okay? That novelist has published two novels, one is Danger Lock, another is Dave and Simran. Your options are Unix D. Sujada, uh, Unix uh, D. Suja, Chitra Banerjee Devakarani, uh, then Namita Gokhale and Sobhade. So here, Danger Log and Dave and Simran, these two novels were written by Eunice D. Suja. So here, A is the right option, where Chitra Banerjee is famously known for the Palace of Illusions. Chitra Banerjee is famously known for her famous uh, novel, that is, The Palace of Illusions. Whereas, Namita Gokhale uh, is uh, famously known for Paro. Paro. Paro dreams of, uh, probably dreams of desire, uh, separate list dreams of desire, Paro dreams of desire and Sobhade, uh, Sobhade is especially known for novels like Social Light Evenings, uh, Starry Nights, these are famous novels written by Sobhade. Okay, moving ahead to the next question, sorry, in IQV Arma, in IQV Arma's The Beautiful Ones Are Not Yet Born, which of the following Ghana and uh, precedence regime has been referred to in, 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 in that uh, book that is the beautiful ones are not yet born uh, written by Ivy Kiwi Armas so in that work okay, which of the following Ghanaian precedence regime has been referred to your options are Squam Nkuma, Nana Akufo Edo or Kennedy Agayopong or Jerry John Rawlings so here uh, it is actually uh, referring here Kwam and Kuma, Kwam and Kuma, the regime of the regime of okay, Kwam and Kuma. Yeah. So let's look at this explanation here. The beautiful ones are not yet born. Is it the debut novel of the Ghanaian writer Ivy Kiwi Arma? The novel tells the story of an unnamed man who struggles to reconcile himself with the reality of the post dependence Ghana. Whereas the beautiful ones are not yet born focuses on life in post-independence Ghana and takes place between Passion Week in 1965 and February 25, 1966, the day after the overthrow of the Kwam Nkrumah, Ghana's first president. Okay, moving ahead to the next question. Who among the following is the protagonist of Kanthapura, uh, Kanthapura, the novel, who is back from the city with new ideas and is cut, uh, and cuts across the ancient barriers of caste to unite the villagers in non-violent actions. Okay. So here, the protagonist here is uh, influenced by the uh, Gandhian non-violent action and he has come from the city with new ideas where he is trying to, uh, uh, trying to cut across the ancient barriers of caste and was trying to unite the villagers. Okay. So who is the protagonist of the novel Kantafura? Your options are Rama Filali, Murthy, Narayan, Anand. So it is here Murthy. B is the right of son. Murthy is the protagonist of the novel Kanthapur, the famous novel. Kuli. Kuli is a novel. Kuli is a novel by Mulkraj Anand, was first published in Fiji. Your options are uh, your options are here 1936, 1930, 1935, 1940. So Kuli was published in the year 1930, whereas in 1935 was the first uh, pub published novel was Untouchable. Untouchable. Untouchable was published in the year 1935, whereas in 1936, Cooley was published. Yeah, Cooley was published here. Hmm. So, here. Okay. 
uh, yes cool was published here next question country of my skull where in coolie there is the mono is the main character mono m you know mono is the main character here i'm protagonist here country of my skull the south african non-fiction work was published why by by pub, uh, published in in 1998 1995 1999 1993 so country of my skull this is a non-fiction work uh, by croc by croc and zero croc so here it was published in the year 1998 so a is the right option here country of my skull uh, is a 1998 non-fiction book by angie croc about the south african truth hmm, and um, and reconciliation commission it is based on croc's uh, experience as a radio reporter covering covering the commission from 1996-1998 for the south african broadcasting corporation so country of my skull is a non-fiction work published in the year 1998 by angie croc Willows within Aspen Quiver, Little Breezer, Dusk and Seaver Throw, the waves that runs forever by the island in the river. These lines are from which of the which poem? Kids and Damien, no. It's Lake Isle, no. Uh, Scott's Walter Scott, the Lady of the Lake, no. So it was uh, the Willows within uh, Willows Whiten, Aspen Quiver, Little Breezer, Dusk and Seaver Throw, the waves that runs forever by the island in the river. These lines are actually from Tennyson's The Lady of Salon. So here, here C is the right option. Moving on to the next question, who wrote children classic? That is the Swiss Family Robinson. The Swiss Family Robinson was written by Annie Blyton, no, John David Weiss, Mills and Boone, Agatha Christie. So it was written by John David Weiss. Yeah, the, the, and that is the Swiss Family Robinson. Okay. Next question, what is the name of the lion in Old Swankers play? The Lion and the Jewel. So Old Swankers famous with the Lion and the Jewel, where uh, the lion appears. Uh, what is the name of the lion? So your options are Baroka, Lacoon, Hegos, Iniko. Here, uh, here is actually it was Baroka. Baroka is the name of the lion. Let's look at these explanations here. The Lion and the Jewel is a play by Nigerian writer also Anka that was first performed in 1959 in Ibadan. In 1966, it was staged in London at the Royal Court Theatre. And the play chronicles how Baroka, the lion, fights with the modern uh, Lacoon over the right to marry Sidi, the titular Jewel. The titular jewel okay the lion and the jewel the lion is the hair uh, is baroka uh, whereas the jewel is the cd the titular jewel cd okay isaac the jew is a money lender isaac is a character the, the jew is a money lender and rebecca another character are characters from which novel even who uh, hamlet saint john rivals so isaac rebecca these are characters from walter scott's novel even who even who is the right option here Next question, who wrote Chamber Music? Chamber Music is a collection of poems written by Eats, no, Eliot, no, Auden, no, so James Joyce. So here, yeah, Chamber Music was written by uh, James Joyce, the collection of poems, the collection of poems by James Joyce, published by Elkin Matthews in May 1907. Next question, which of the following poems by Nizi Majikil presents a rural Indian village and its people throwing light on their superstitions? Temperament and outlook on the life. Okay, your options are Night of the Scorpion, Goodbye Party for Miss Puspa, and Hymns in Darkness or Mid Monsoon Madness. So, here uh, the village throwing light on the superstitions and temperament and outlook on life. It was Night of the Scorpion. Night of the Scorpion here. A is the right option here. Next question James Thompson's death was lamented in the poem. So, James Thompson was dead, okay, and his death was lamented in the poem. That is called in yonder grave a druid lies. Okay, in yonder grave a druid lies. Who wrote this poem? So, who is the author of the uh, poem? That is in yonder grave a druid lies, uh, where the poet has lamented on lamented on the death of James Thompson. Yeah. So yeah, and druid is it means something priest or something magical druid, something magic magical or something uh, or someone who, uh, priest kind of thing, okay. priest or magical thing. So yeah, your options are Annie Finch, William Collins, Craig Cooper. So here yeah, uh, it was written by William Collins. William Collins has written in yonder grave a druid lies where he has lamented on the death of James Thompson. Moving on to the next question, Darwin's on the origin of species by natural selections came out in which year? Options right, 59, 57, it was, it was, it came out okay in 1850, in 1859 okay. Moving on to the next question, who wrote Coldridge on Imagination? I.O. Richards, J. Spingron, I.O. Richards, W.E.B. Du Bois. So here, Coldridge on Imagination was written by I.O. Richards. So here, A is the right option, sir. A is the right option here. Okay. So here, I.O. Richards has written Coldridge on Imagination. In which book I.O. Richards 
talked about four kinds of meaning so he gave four kinds of meaning uh, in which book practical criticism of studying literary judgment 1929 principle of literary criticism meaning of meaning philosophy of rhetoric so these were all uh, written uh, works by i richards but in but in the book there is practical criticism and its subtitle is called a study in literary judgment that is published in the year 1929 in that book okay, i richards has talked about four kinds of meaning sense tone uh, feeling and intention so for, what are the what are the four kinds of meaning first is sense then tone then feeling uh, then feeling and the last one is intention and the last one is intention okay intention sense tone feeling and intention so these are four kinds of meaning and he had talked about uh, he had uh, talked about in practical criticism and it's separately a study in literary judgment published in 1929 and for the first time okay he had also used the term practical criticism in this work that is in practical criticism and in principle of literary criticism that is published in the 1924 in this work uh, he has uh, talked about two uses of uh, two uses of language in this work that is in 1924 in this work Uh, i richards has talked about two uses of language two uses of a language two uses of language yes two uses of language uh, william imson seven types of ambiguity william imson seven types of ambiguity william imson is the new critic here the new critic the new critic hmm the william imson seven types of ambiguity was published in the year okay in uh, your options 1930 31 32 29 29 yeah seven types of ambiguity was published in the year 1930 so 1930 seven types of ambiguity so here uh, william imson hmm. the term intentional fallacy is first used by william imson no not of fry no we well like renewal can warrant no wimsett and Moon, uh, william wimsett and munro beardsley yeah so it was william wimsett and munro beardsley had for the first time had used the term intentional flashy and you know, what is intentional flashy intentional flashy is when someone is trying to draw the meaning of a text by the author's intention that is a kind of fallacy intentional fallacy so it was propounded by william wimsett and munro beardsley so d is the right option Name the elder Brahmin women with an encyclopedic knowledge about everyone in her village who is the narrator of the novel Kanthapura. So here uh, there is the novel called Kanthapura, and there is a elder Brahmin women uh, who has a knowledge about everyone in her village, and he she is also the narrator of the novel Kanthapura. Now who is she? So your options are Janu, uh, then Amini, Amin, Amini. No, Achaka or Minamma. So it was Achaka. C is the right option. C is the right option. Achaka is the narrator. Which of the following is the native village of Muno? Of Muno by of Muno of Kuli. And Kuli was published in the year nineteen thirty six. Whereas in nineteen thirty five, uh, Anta Sibul was published. Which the following uh, is the uh, which of the following is the native village of Muno? So it is in Bil. It is in Bilaspur. It is in Bilaspur. Bilaspur is the right option here. Bilaspur. Ruth did delivers her son Mac on day three. So Ruth did's son is Mac on day three, and she became the first African American child born uh, Mac on day three. Uh, Mac on day three, the first African American child born in the hospital. Fish novel of Tony Morrison is referred here. So your options are Song of Solomon, Sula, The Blue Stars, Beloved. It was Song of Solomon. So these are four novels. These four novels were written by uh, Tony Morrison. Yeah, Song of Solomon. In that uh, novel, the character Ruth Deliver, Ruth Dead, is the character, and Ruth Dead delivers her son Mac on Day Three. Who wrote Dante's Greek trilogy? Dante's Greek trilogy was written by Tony Morrison, Jonathan Hudson, Amiri Baraka, Alice Walker. So Dante's Greek trilogy was written by Tony Morrison. He is the right option. And Beloved, Jazz, and Paradise. These are three novels uh, that constitute Dante's Greek trilogy. Here, Beloved, Jazz, and Paradise. Okay. Dusty Mona is a play by who, by whom Tony Morrison, Jordan Hudson, Emily Barker, Langston Hughes. So Dusty Mona is a play by Tony Morrison. Tony Morrison has written Dusty Mona. Next question: Who are the following African playwrights? Which of the following African playwrights is concerned with the ritual suicide of Yoruba king's horseman? Okay, uh, Nadine Gardimer, no. Gisina Melfoy, Melfi, uh, Old Swainka, Nizin Osundar. So here, Old Swainka, Old Swainka is okay. Uh, concerned with the ritual suicide of a Yoruba king's horseman. Here is the uh, um, the work that is the death and the king. Horseman is a play by Old Swainka based on real incident that took place in Nigeria during the colonial era, and the horseman of a Yoruba king was prevented from committing ritual suicide by the colonial authorities. 
so it was by Wolfwinkers Wolf D and the King's Horseman which tomb was inscribed as follows so good friend good friend for Jesus sake for we are to dig for we are to dig the dust enclosed here blessed be the man that spares the stones and cursed be he that moves my bones Chaucer's Marlowe's Shakespeare's Bacon so it was inscribed uh, in the storm of Shakespeare. So here Shakespeare is the right option. The 2008 Chitra Banerji Devakaran is the palace of illusion is a retelling of Mahabharata by which of the female characters okay. So here the narrator who is the narrator of that film uh, work that is the palace of illusions written by Chitra Banerji. Uh, it is a Chattabhati, Panchali, Kunti, Gandhari. So here right option is here Panchali. It is the retelling story of Panchali. Panchali is the narrator here B. The great English novelists are Jane Austen, George Eliot, Henry James, Joseph Conrad. Which of the following critical texts begin with the above assertion? Walter Allen, the English novel? No. Terry Eagleton, the English novel? No. Ephraim Lewis, the great tradition, or Ian White, Ian White's The Rise of the Novel. So it was Ephraim Lewis, the great tradition, and this was published in the year probably in 1948. 1948, 1947 or 48. I think it is 1948. In the year after, uh, after one year of our, our independence, that is 1948. Yeah, Ephraim Levy's The Great Tradition was published in the year 1948. And in this, okay, this, uh, this is the opening line here. Who among the following does not belong to the Great Tradition? Enunciated by Ephraim Levy's in the Great Tradition. So Ephraim Levy's work that is published in the year 1948, the Great Tradition. Who among the following does not belong to the Great Tradition? Joseph Conrad, yeah, Joseph Conrad belongs to that category. Jane Austen was belong to the belong uh, belongs to the category. George Eliot also belongs to this category. Whereas John James Joyce does not belong to this category. Another, there are four correct. There are four writers. So another one is Henry James. Another one is, mm, sorry, another one is Henry Henry James. So Henry James was so Joseph Conrad, uh, Jane Austen, George Eliot, and Henry James. Uh, they were the great traditional writers okay here uh, whereas James Joyce does not belong to that category Ephraim Levis the great tradition published in the year 1948 the second act of Badal Sarkar's play Ebam Indrajit opens after a break of how many years the second act of Badal Sarkar's play Ebam Indrajit opens after a, a break of how many years to watch here Seven. It was seven. Seven is the right option. You know that Badal Sarkar is famously uh, he, uh, known for th known for third theater, whereas the third theater was coined by Eugenio Barba. But Badal Sarkar in India has popularized uh, third theater. Okay, and he has translated his own theater company Shatabdi into third theater. And Ebab Indraji is the famous uh, play written by. Uh, is an example of that, and is the famous play written by Badal Sarkar. And the second act of Badal Sarkar's play, uh, that is Ebab Indraji, opening is op uh, opens after a break of seven years. At which age of Muno dies of tuberculosis, which is a fatigue, high fever, and a bloody cough. So here, uh, when uh, the novel begins, we see that uh, that Muno is uh, fourteen years old, but. Uh, but he dies of 16 years. So here, but, but he dies of hmm, uh, tuberculosis when he was 16 years old. So here, A is the right option. But at the beginning of the novel, uh, he was 14 years old. Okay. Hmm. For which works Strindberg, August Strindberg okay, described it as his most mature work. Which one is the most mature work by August Strindberg? You know, often such creditors, a dream play, the ghost sonata, the father. So here the right option is the creditors. Creditors is uh, is regarded as described as or regarded as his most uh, mature work by himself. Creditors, okay. Who wrote the novels like The House of the Spirits or City of the Beasts? Okay. Spirits and the Beasts. Isabel Allen, D. Mail July. My Gold Servant is Augustine Buck. So here the House of the Spirits and City of the Beasts. These are two uh, famous novels written by Isabel Allen D. Here Isabel Allen D. is the right option here. Moving on to the next question, Inquili. This is a fictional work. Remember that it is a fictional work based on communion violence was written by. So Inquila, Inquilov or in, Inquila or Inquilov is a fictional work based on communion violence was written by Khwaja Ahmed Abbas, Asif Karimbal, J. R. Joe Randolph Ackerley or Abhinav Gupta. So here um, Inquila is a fictional work based on communion violence was written by Khwaja Ahmed Abbas. Whereas Inquila, a play, 
that play was written by Asit Karimba, but in Kula, this is a fictional work and based on communion variants, this was written by Khwaja Ahmed Abbas, whereas the play in Kula was written by Asit Karimba, but this is a fictional work, remember it. Okay. Who wrote the autobiography? I am not an island, an experiment in autobiography. I am not an island, an experiment in autobiography. Your options are Khwaja Ahmed Abbas, Asit Karimba, Joe Randall Akarali, Abhinav Gupta. So here, uh, the right option is here, uh, that is Khwaja Ahmed Abbas has written, I am not an island, experiment in autobiography. So here, A is the right option. Moving on to the next question, Tantra Loka. Tantra Loka, that is an encyclopedic treatise, encyclopedic book on all the philosophical and practical aspects of Trika and Kola, which is today known as Kashmir Savism. Who wrote it? Khwaja Ahmad Abbas, Asit Karimboy, Joe Randall Bakerle, Abhinav Gupta. So Abhinav Gupta is the right option here. Abhinav Gupta has written Tantra Lok. So here, uh, Tantra Lok was written by, was written by Abhinav Gupta. So D is the right option. Next question. Who wrote Emperor and Galleon? Or Emperor and Galilean. So Henry Gibson, Jola, Mangal Serpent, Augustine Bach. So Emperor and Galilean was written by Henry Gibson. A is the right option. Next question. I would rather stand three times with the shield in a battle than give birth one second. This is the famous quotation. This was uttered by which famous Greek character? Your options are Meteor, Antigone, Electra, or Lysistrata. I would rather stand three times with a silt in a battle and then, then give birth once. Okay. So this was uttered by the famous character Media. So Media was this is the famous was by Euripides, where the titular character is Media. Media has uttered this famous line that she would rather stand three times with a silt in a battle than give birth once. So here Media is the right option, A is the right option. And this was next question written by Aristophanes, and this play uh, has focused on the Peloponnesian War. So this is this is the main focus on the Peloponnesian War. Uh, the women were actually trying to okay finish the war here uh, to 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 to, uh, to resolve all those uh, complexities. The story revolves around the title the title character women who calls for women across the empire to withhold sexual gratification from their husbands until they find a way to negotiate peace in the ongoing war. So the ongoing war was the Peloponnesian War. Now the women have come um, um, front okay and they are now uh, uh, that that character the title character is trying to okay, uh, unite all those women across the empire and telling them to withhold sexual gratification uh, from their husbands okay until they find a way to negotiate until they find a way to negotiate peace in the ongoing war okay so so there there is the options are the frogs the lysistrata uh, lysistrata the crowds and the webs. So here the, the, the title of the letter is the Lysistrata. So here Aristophanes the famous work that is based on Peloponnesian war where the women are trying to withhold sexual gratifications from the husbands. It is called Lysistrata. Here B is the right option. Aristophanes is superior. Anison is a novel which is semi-autobiographical uh, and episodic in form which tells the growth of a girl in Antigua, an island in the Caribbean. It covers issues as diverse as mother-daughter relationship, lesbianism, racism, clinical depression, poverty, education, and the struggle between medicines based on scientific fact and based on native superstitious know-how. Name the novelist. Okay. Anison, this is the work written by Jamaica Kincat, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Derek Walcott, Edward Brathwaite. So Anison was written by Jamaica Kincat. So here A is the right of some Jamaica Kincat. Moving ahead to the next question, who wrote the novel, the We Think the World of You, We Think the World of You, your options are Khwaja Ahmed Abbas, no, Asit Karimboy, no, Joe Randall Vakarli, Abhinav Gupta, so the novel, uh, We Think the World of You was written by Joe Randall Vakarli, so here C is the right option. Next question, what is the name of the Miss Havisham's manor, the decaying mansion? So here Miss Havisham's appears in Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens' Great Expectations is the famous novel where the main character is the main protagonist is here Peep, Philip Peep or Peep. Is the, it is a building summon drama coming away story of Peep where and the Miss Havisham's manor, the mansion is known, which is decaying mansion, is known as your options are here, Satis House, Satire House, Larchmont or Lockmont. So the decaying mansion of Miss Havisham was in the novel, the description was Satis House by Charles Dickens, Satis House. Uh, where was Magwitch? Magwitch, its, uh, its, its, uh, its full name was Abel Magwitch, is the uh, main benefactor of P. 
be and where was Magby sent was the punishment so he was sent to actually New South Wales that was in Australia so your options are Germany, France, America and Australia so Magby was sent as a punishment to Australia that is uh, so in New South Wales that is in Australia okay so Australia is the right option and Magby is the convict okay who was the actual benefactor of Peep hmm. actual benefactor of Peep here hmm. which is a convict hmm. another convict was competition okay uh, Chomsky's coin. This here is the last question. Chomsky, Noam Chomsky coined and popularized the terms like deep structure and surface structure in the early 1960s, 1950s, 1940s, 1970s. Okay, so Chomsky coined and popularized the terms like deep structure and surface structure in the early 1960s. So here A is the right option. Okay, and uh, if you want me to make any uh, video on particular topic, okay, you can write it down in the comment box. I will try to uh, make the video on that particular topic. Thank you one second for watching the video. Please stay tuned with my channel that is South Tutorial and tap the bell icon to get more notification that I will upload in future. Thank you one second.